most women love lived in waves, but how do you do it? There are several methods, but two in particular that we're focusing on this morning. Joining us now to demonstrate how to get the lived in waves look is Paris Parker designer, Sean Byrne, who is styling my hair today. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> so tell us, what's what's first on the on the list for um, getting those those that tussled look? So today I'm using um, a flat iron to do this wave, um, which I think is sometimes easier for people. That way you can just have one tool at home. You don't I have see. to have eight different tools in your kit, right. so Plus to speak. Plus it's more friendly on your budget, right? Absolutely. I mean, that's really what's most important to people, I think. So, <laughs> sure. um, so yeah, there's, there's obviously lots of ways. A lot of people like want to wand their hair, which is, you know, a curling iron without a clamp, oh, okay. essentially. But I really like the method of flat iron waving, and I think it's easy for people. So um, that's kind of what we're doing today. Cool. And again, it looks like it's all in the wrist, right? Absolutely, everything's on the wrist, right? <laughs> um, so we're using a little bit of the heat relief thermal uh, protecting and conditioning spray. Okay. It's an instant conditioner that um, will actually keep your hair from being damaged from this very hot flat iron that we're oh, putting good. on there. Oh, good, right, yeah. But I like this whole lived-in situation, so it looks a little bit like you did it a few days ago, mm -hmm. even though you did it straight away. Sure. Okay, and again, it's that, it's that just kind of like relaxed look, yeah, right? A little You're, bohemian, right. but in a in a more finished way. Right, but you didn't just wake up on the on the beach. Either. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> right. Totally. Yeah, that's that's really not a thing for most of us. Not on a <laughs> random Tuesday, anyway. Right. This is true. Okay, perfect. So, so where do you start? I mean, are you sectioning the hair first? So I do like to like. do things go. in sections. Um, I, I find that it's easier to manage and maneuver if you work in sections. And I like to, um, you know, the back and underneath is not quite as important because the top layer is going to hang down, you know, below that. Um, okay, so, so you that's know, a time saver. Yeah, so really, yeah. if you just do the bottom of the back, it, it's, you know, you won't get quite the volume, but sometimes that's what people are kind of avoiding, wanting to avoid sure. is sort of that long lean wave versus a big, um, you know, right. hot rolled look. Right, I was gonna say like like the 80s look, right? Correct, we, we don't necessarily <laughs> want that. Right, Some unless you're might. in a high school play. Yeah, exactly. And then you might want that, <laughs> <Totally>. okay. <laughs> so so um, yeah, so okay. I do like to work in sections. I think that um, it's just easier to manage that way and having, utilizing a clip to section the hair off is always a good idea. Okay, so Can, that's what I do when I straighten my hair, so. Totally, it's basically the same the same um, sectioning, mm -hmm. but then you take um, like vertical partings rather than horizontal, and that keeps it long and lean as well. Oh, okay, and, so you're, and you're going back from the face, right? Correct, always to open your face up. Okay. This is always a good idea. I gotcha, okay. So any other, any other tips for people who are maybe just trying this for the first time? Um, don't get frustrated at first. Don't try to do it when you've only got 10 minutes before you have to get out the door. <laughs> I like Give that. yourself a little bit of time to learn. Mm -hmm. um, understand that in, when you're looking in a mirror, it confuses you sometimes, it confuses right. your brain. So make sure to um, just give yourself a moment to sort of figure it out and sure. try not to rely on the mirror. Try, okay. to, try to do it without overthinking the fact that your hand is moving in a backwards way than what your brain thinks it is. <laughs> right, it's like, so, this is confusing this is to really me. This is really weird, yeah. So is this um, a good look for somebody with, with longer hair, or can people with short hair do this too, or where, where do you draw the line? You don't really. Um, okay. There's short hair, a, a really short, like, chin-length bob mm -hmm. with this done to it is really adorable and also um, very, very on trend. Like okay, you're seeing cool. a lot of that, like, triangular-shaped bob with these these sort of soft waves in it. Right. And this is a very simple way to do it, and it's even less work than what I'm doing to yours because it's just a one really quick turn. Okay. And then you said, you know, the back isn't necessarily what's important in this look, right? Correct. It's really you want to focus on the face. You want to put some in the back, but you don't have to be, you know, really diligent about tiny sections in the back to get it how you want it. Sure, okay. And I love the, the, the idea that this is, this is a messy, fun look. So perfect, we're not going for perfection here. We're going for that tousled, carefree look, right? That's exactly right. I think that, um, again, I think that's where we are in the world right now. Mm -hmm. It's just a little bit more casual of a place that we are at, at this point in time. And I think that that's reflective in um, fashion. It's reflective in hair. And I think that it uh, makes your life a lot easier, that's for sure. Yeah, I was gonna say, you don't, you don't spend hours and hours, you know, do, doing your hair. Maybe, maybe the first time, like you suggested. Right, <laughs> just a few, <laughs> just a few more minutes, yeah. Right. And I will say that this um, flat iron wave mm -hmm. actually lasts a little bit longer sometimes than oh, a curling great. iron wave. Um, so I think that's really a good a good thing to consider as well. You get a, you really do get a couple of days out of this already yeah. lived in look. Very fun, thank you. You're very welcome. Fantastic. 
All right, well, Paris Parker has four locations, New Orleans, Mandeville, Hammond, and Baton Rouge. For more information, log on to parisparker.com or call this toll-free number, 1-877-TRUE-GIFT.